Hello everyone and welcome to my little review and look at Journey to Batu on The Sims 4. And yeah, this is a bit of annoyance. But you know what? It's not all bad. So here we have uh, the Oga Cantina. There is right there, yep, in all his glory, Hondo Anaka. The leader of the scoundrels and one of the five characters you can't woohoo in this place. Yes, that's right. You can actually... Have relations, woohoo, marry, even bring these people home. From the First Order Stormtroopers to these aliens. There's about five of them, I think. We have, of course, right here, we have the old uh, singers from the cantina. You know, the dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. We have those guys. We have uh, the same species as Luminara right here. Uh, it's all done from either makeup or, like, hats and headdresses and stuff. And you put them on and it changes the whole character. And it even goes to a full skin level too. It's really quite impressive. We have, as you can see here, human, him, uh, Sabak, you know, the uh, Darth Maul species, uh, whatever Hondo species is. I never actually hear their names. Uh, there's the Twi'leks, they're here. Um, we also have the, um, the fish people. That's the best way I can describe them. Like we saw in a, not only A Force Awakens, but also The Last Jedi. You know, the ones that have those big heads and they occasionally have those little tendril things hanging down. Kind of like, um, kind of like a, tr you know, a bass or a trout. And look here, we even have a dude who's got like a carrot top hairdo. And you have quite a few things. You have the three factions, of course, characters. And you have the citizens of Batu, And then, of course, you occasionally have these guys like bartenders. And as you can tell, the, the level of detail here is pretty good. A lot of this you can actually get for your home just from the build mode, except this guy. I don't know how you get him, but it would be cool. Um, and check this out. Look at the table. Play Sabak with... Yes, that's right. You can actually play the gambling Sabak game. Now, we're going to come out here, and as you can see, uh, this is the first real main area. I've just completed... Um, one of the uh, the missions. The missions are how you're going to earn the galactic credits, which is the currency of the game in this mode. And it's really cool. And as you can see here, there's a lot of characters. There's just Scoundrel slicing into this uh, panel, which is pretty cool. And you actually do that later on. Here's the Falcon. And check this out. You have Attempt the Castle Run, Scan Millennium Falcon and Explore. So there's actually a lot. And that's just with the Falcon right here. We have Docking Bay 7. This is where you can order food and stuff. And you can actually get a couple of things for free. Also, check this out. We got a Stormtrooper right here. I do... I really wish we had clone and normal Stormtrooper armor from the older movies. That would be awesome. And check this out, FB283. They actually have those names and information. So I'm a little surprised by that. But it gives you an idea here. And there's just a lot of content. Now, once we get over here, we're going to come in. And there's just a lot of places. This is, in this area, this is your main hangout. You can change your outfit, plan the outfit, sleep, freshen up. And you'll actually have to do some of that for some of these missions too, by the way. This thing right here is like a little uh, bench, believe it or not. There's, as you can see here, scrap metal for stuff lying around. And check this out. We have the lightsaber place. Requi requested lightsaber challenge. Shop selves, uh, I probably am butchering that name, lightsaber workshop. Yes, that's right. And you can actually put the lightsaber together. You're going to have to buy two things. The hilt and the kyber crystal. Which is still pretty cool. And so you can get a red lightsaber, a blue, a green. I don't know if they have purple though. That's the only one I haven't seen. Um, and I'll have to do another look. Then we have um, we have the uh, the oddities, the den of, oddity of antiquities right here. And as you can see, there's a lot of content. I mean, look at that. There's a lot of stuff. And you can also buy a little uh, Pord dolls and Ewok toys in this place too for the kids and stuff. So there is actually a lot of content. And that's just here. 
Um, the droid place is actually in the first order district. You'll have to go there if you want to get your droid. Have a thousand credits ready, by the way. I'm, I'm not kidding. You need a thousand credits. And a few things related to either the first order or the scoundrels or the resistance happen as you get further into the game. Now, despite all of this, there is actually a lot of content here. It's pretty self-contained, but there's just a lot of good stuff here. You'll have to do these missions if you want the galactic credits. There's no way to convert them to, by the way. I have not seen an option. That might be somebody's idea later on, but there is no galactic credits. By the way, you see these people right here, like this dude right here and this dude and so forth? You can actually make them fall in love and even have kids with them and drag them back to your hometown. That's how impressive it is. And I made this character originally to look like a Twilight, but she's just a normal human. Um, another playthrough, I actually have an alien character who I turned into Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'm not kidding. So I had Thrawn walking around as a young man being a young stud. And... Um, You'll see stormtroopers, resistance members, scoundrels. They're like, whoa, it's Thrawn. It's, it was hilarious. I even managed to make his ears look normal, too, thanks to editing. So pretty cool. In fact, uh, let's travel real quick to the resistance base. That's where we're going to go next. And you can travel home when you're ready, by the way. So that's pretty cool. And it does work pretty good in that regard. Also, I don't know if you can hear it, but they did their own renditions of a lot of Star Wars music. You'll hear the normal theme, uh, the Resistance theme, the uh, the First Order theme, and Ray's theme. And they're not bad. Sometimes it's like, wow, really? Um, so it does get a little interesting. I like how they have the swipe come in and stuff, like you, you see and stuff. See here, we have Black Spire Outpost. This is the primary area. And see... This lot is not available. And here we have the First Order District. You are looking to acquire your own droid companion. And yes, you can actually do that. And here we have the Resistance. Right here. Resistance Encampment. And there's actually quite a lot. So we're going to go to the Resistance. See what I mean? See how I did that swipe thing? That's pretty cool. Um, there's no way you can edit the, the, uh, the lots. People have tried. I think one person actually got it to snow. That's about it. Also, if you want Ray, Kylo Ren, and the two lieutenants, I don't think anybody has been able to get Hondo out. You can actually get them in the gallery. Some people were able to do some like debugging stuff. They've also talked about how a couple of the characters have some voice problems because of um, you know they were designed for certain roles. But they do work. You can have families with them. You can have a Granny Ray, or for those weird people who want to have Kylo Ren and Ray, you know, hooking up, you can do that too. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. But you can do that, apparently. Why? I don't know. But hey, I'm not them, so that's not mine. That's not me. Anyhow, uh, as you can see here, there's a lot of content. See, here's some of the tents. These tents, by the way, are the only way I've found so far that you can wahoo and get a character pregnant. That's it. That's the only way you're going to get a pregnancy here with these aliens. That's it. These ones right here. And you can't even, you know, um, you can't even uh, <laughs> hit on the tents. You actually have to romance the living hell out of them and then get them to... Uh, you know, actually go into the romance section to pull it off. That's how serious it is. It's not a bad idea, though. As you can see here, there's so much content. Over here is the X-Wing. And check it out. Just like with the Falcon, explore. You need uh, to do stuff with the Resistance or scan the T-70 X-Wing. And just down here, there she is. There's one of our five uh, characters who you can't do anything with unless you get them from the gallery. And she's actually kind of cool looking. I like I like the outfit. I like the design. I like the fact that she is kind of gung-ho and stuff. All right. 
We're going to do a friendly interaction and then we're going to ask about the resistance. And also seeing the reactions to these characters when they do this stuff is kind of funny and, and stuff. And as you can tell from the background, the environment is actually very impressively animated and has a lot of life to it. I, I've spit it up and stuff. So this is actually pretty cool in that regard. And I brought um, a really heavy duty overdone uh, full skill character in and I just had these guys, you know, <laughs> doing stuff. That depends on who you're asking. If you're looking to support the resistance, you're going to need to prove yourself. Talking to other resistance members about the resistance. Okay. So, yeah, you have three factions you can work with. You can get credits for and stuff, as you can see here. And, yes, again, sorry if that's looking orange. It's just the way the camera and everything is. It works here for me. Sorry, guys. Still, um, I have to give credit where credit's due. The detail work here on the characters is actually uh, very good. The outfits, the environment, everything. It's actually pretty nice. And uh, you got that kind of stuff. And see here, you can actually discuss the force. There are also certain kind of things you can only do here. But the cool thing is, anything you get from here, you can take back home. I look at that, she's talking about a Jedi holocron. You can actually get those too, as well as Sith holocrons. You can get lightsabers and stuff. I don't know all the details. Um, and I know in one of the, uh, the promotional videos, they were showing a purple lightsaber. Don't ask me why they were. I would actually like to have, just for the hell of it, a purple, ooh, she's kind of cute. A purple lightsaber, just for the hell of it. I would like to have one, but uh, I don't know what to do about that. Also, I think a couple of items are also um, designed after uh, Fallen Order, so that's pretty cool. The story, though, thankfully, is self-contained. You don't have to worry about seeing like these aliens and stuff walking down your street of your normal home. That's something good. So everything is self-contained in Batu. But that also means you can't go home and then suddenly invite over all these aliens to your house. The only way to do it is, as they say, to get these people to come home with you by joining your household or really doing some stuff. That's it. That's the only way this stuff works. So, there's that. But, it, but yeah, you can actually get even the Resistance members and the First Order members to come here... So you can do Wahoo in that tent and, you know, start making little stormtroopers and little resistance members and little scoundrels. It's weird, but it works. Um, but you can also do Wahoo, believe it or not, back at your domicile. But there's no way to produce any little people if you get my drift. Um, it's still pretty cool. And there's actually a lot of content. And I, wow, actually, I like that hat. I've got to work on the... The resistance just to get to that and also work on the first order so i can get a stormtrooper outfit oh and by the way i saw stormtrooper pregnant it was hilarious because at one point it looks like the kid was up in her chest about to come out chest burst her style and uh then she got a big belly it's a bug in the uh armor but it was hilarious to watch um the detail here is just amazing in everything that's done uh and you also have a, believe it or not, a, um, a reputation here. See, look here. Over in the corner, I don't know if you can see it or not. One moment. Yeah, I'm recording everything right from the TV. But see, look here. Uh, that's my character's name. And look here. We have Resistance, First Order, and Scoundrel, uh, you know, Reputation of Batu. And they're all neutral right now because I just started playing this particular mode. But it gives you some idea on what to possibly expect. And yeah, this is not easy. The game has a lot of content to, to it, I will say that. In fact, I was surprised by all the build items where you don't have to come to Batu to get them. Which is pretty cool in its own right. 
Now, is it perfect? No. Do I wish there was a heck of a lot more, including, and I'm going to say this, older uh, packs, you know, older uh, stuff, like more uh, Mandalorian, more Clone Wars, more Rogue One, more uh, original series and stuff. And the answer is, yeah, I really do. Because there was just such potential here. And I am actually now a little worried that they may see that as an opportunity. And, you know, like, here's an update pack that can only be used when you have Journey to Batu. Kind of like what they did with uh, My First Pets. You needed to have uh, cats and dogs in order to use it. I, I can see that happening. I can truly see that happening. And even introduce other aliens. Maybe have Admiral Thrawn come in and stuff. It's a nice little add-on to this. You know, little things make life more interesting. And stuff. And I think they were missing out on so much here. So much potential. Including, you know, not having Mandalorians is a big deal. I mean, seriously. It's the, it's the number one show. I would have made sure that you could do that stuff or you could like start putting Mandalorian armor together with the Baskar. That would have been freaking awesome. But no, we, we didn't even think about that. Although I can tell that this has probably been something that they've been working on for a long time. Just from the detail work that exists here. And whoa, holy, jeez, that's cool hair, but damn. That is some, that is some cool hair. Oh, the hair, but pretty cool. <laughs> and see here, here's another one of a uh, Hondo's race, the the guys who were like the pirates and stuff. And remember, we saw them on a uh, Jabba's barge in Return of the Jedi as well. So they have made theatrical appearances and stuff. And a couple of them have just been hilarious. Ever seen uh, the robot chicken Star Wars special? That that should give you an idea. It's like, oh. Here's your flying baton swan that just happened to hit me in the face. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff. Look here, there's even female members. Um, they're, they're so ugly, they're cute. But not in a bulldog kind of way. It's weird. I, I cannot tell you how much fun it is to be able to go in and do this stuff. And these are all great character designs, too. It kind of makes me want to just have more fun here. And that's the cool part, is there is so much content here. And I am having fun. Um, sorry I'm not showing you more stuff, but I do want to just get this done with and get the video out. Um, I had to, in fact, increase the resolution because I'm trying to do some stuff with lower resolutions uh, so the videos upload easier. But this was just one video I had to do. And so... You know, it's so impressive here to see this. And it is. It's actually a lot of impressive and a lot of fun. And there's so much content. There's, I haven't even discovered everything yet. And yet I already am beyond impressed. And the fact that you can just keep going back, your Somalians, your environment, everything is safe and sound, is actually going to make this pretty good. Um, it is a drag. You don't get to live here, though. That would actually be kind of cool. But there is so much content to work with. The downside is it's all, for the most part, except for like one or two items, it's all um, sequel trilogy, which is not the most popular right now. And I don't blame that. I think there was some serious opportunity, and now they're... And wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I did not see that coming. Is this dude related to Holdo or something? Seriously. What the... Is this like his... Is this like her, her brother or something? Or her son? Wait, is it a young dude? Yeah, this could be her son. Wow, he did not look like he was going to be an easy birth. Wow. Okay, that is really pink. I mean, like... Dude, you're even walking around like you got a little captain in you. Anybody who catches that joke should be really happy. Uh, my, yeah. I'm going to need some room after this. Okay, uh, guys, like and subscribe. I'll see you later. It is actually worth it. There is a lot of good stuff. So pick it up if you want to. Remember, it's only 20 bucks. That's the good news. And believe it or not, they actually are selling this physically, too, believe it or not. I saw one.
today in Walmart for my, I forget the exact price, but it is a Walmart. It is available. You can buy it with the physical game and stuff just like with some of the expansions. So, oh my God. But yeah, like and subscribe, guys, and hit the bell. I'll see you later.